ready for a photo shot to surprise your daddy with. Give me some good shots. All right, let's get that picture going. You ready? Let's get some poses for daddy. Ready? Pose one. Here we go. All right. Oh, there we go. Give me another pose. All right. Give me a big old smile. There we go. You ready? Give me another one. Give me a good smile. All right. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel that? It was just a normal day in a city Virginia, citizens going about their business, until the news started to spread. Hey Brad! Brad and his neighbor Stella, better known around town as Super Soaker Stella, were discussing all of the crazy stories coming out of Danville, Virginia. And then it happened. Ball. I'll fix you. I warned you. That's right, punk. You better leave. Wow, Stella, you did it. That was incredible. the greatest day ever. Now who's gonna clean that cat crap off of my yard? This footage is gonna make me rich. crazy landlord. She won't fix anything, but she wants to rent earlier every month. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Mr. Jennings, you better have my rent. Miss Stevens, I told you, I don't get paid till next week. that crap. I told you to have... <laughs> Jennings, is 
That's your cat? I told you no pets. Not hardly. I couldn't afford to pay your rent and feed that thing too. Shoo cat, shoo! Get away from here. Honey, you're not gonna believe this, but the landlady is having a standoff with a huge cat. You listen here, Furball. I'm allergic to cats. I'm already itching. And sneezing. Now step aside. Yeah, she's talking smack to it. I think it's gonna eat her. You listen here, Buster. I'm gonna skin you and sell your fur to the Eskimos. Hold on, I gotta video this. Alright, flea bag, you're gonna get a knuckle sandwich. Prepare to go to that big litter box in the sky. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh. Oh. Guess what? No rent this month. We can go to Applebee's. Love you, honey. Poor cat's gonna have a heck of a tummy ache. That's gonna be one heck of a hairball. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Oh well. Gotta quit drinking. That's me, Jim Bricotta, Sheriff of Ace City, Virginia. After all the insane 911 calls coming in, I ordered all of my officers on duty. And then this guy showed up. Sheriff, Sheriff, I need to talk to you. Who are you? My name is Professor Hashu. God bless you. No, that's my name. Look, I'm kind of busy right now. We get reports of a giant cat all over town. One guy actually filmed his landlord being eaten by this thing. We just found giant feces down on the beach like this thing was using the sand as a litter box. I can't talk right now. I understand, Sheriff. And that's why I'm here. I have first-hand knowledge of this beast. I was there at the Danville Research Center where it escaped from. So you were the one responsible for this thing. Who are you? I'm Major Shane Percata, Jim's big brother. You're only five minutes older than me, Shane. Yeah, well, I'm still older. So that makes me the big brother. See, while little Jim stayed here in town... My obnoxious brother Shane went on to tell the professor about how I decided to stay in a city and play cops and robbers while he went on to have a distinguished military career and that he was now the leader of an elite military unit and that he was here to save the day. The professor told us he was an observer and an advisor at the Danville Research Facility where dozens of experiments were being done on several kittens. He warned them to stop when the kittens became extremely aggressive. And then he showed us a video. And they wanted to 
he told us all the kittens were put down except the white female which they kept experimenting on. He warned them to end her life when she grew at an alarming rate and became more violent, but they didn't listen, and that she killed 29 people and escaped this morning. We call her the Muko. Muko? Yes, Muko. Massive, unidentified, kitten-like organism. Well, if you know what it is, then wouldn't you say it is identified? Yes, I know, but it sounds cool. Muko. Massive, unidentified, kitten-like organism. Sounds cool, yes? Okay. But anyway, Sheriff. Major. She is still growing. She could become twice the size she is now. She's got to be stopped. Doesn't matter. My elite unit and I will take out this giant furball swiftly. But gentlemen, we have another issue. A very big issue. Did you hear about the tremors this morning in North Carolina? Yeah, the earthquake. It was no earthquake. It was him. Who? Hey, Sheriff. Hold on. Go ahead. Uh, we have a report of that giant cat heading south on Daniels Creek Road. All right, I want you to set up a roadblock at that intersection. Maybe this thing will just keep going straight and roll right out of town. There's something else, Sheriff. Possibly a second bogey. It's several miles out and headed straight towards us. And whatever it is, it's huge! Okay, dispatch, I want you to keep your eye on that thing. Keep monitoring it. Keep me informed on its location. Over and out. The professor told us about a creature responsible for a deer and rabbit shortage reported by hunters back in the mid-70s. Allegedly, the military used gallons of deer scent to lure the beast into the cave in Pilot Mountain, then blew it up with dynamite, sealing the entrance in the process. They covered it up, saying it was a military exercise, but they were actually trying to kill it. They thought they killed him. But I always believed he's just been hibernating all these years, waiting, trying to kill it. Kill what? The mightiest beast to ever walk the earth. An alpha predator standing over 200 feet tall. This is the only known photo to be taken of him before they trapped him back in 1974. So this so-called alpha predator of yours, has it got a name? Yes. We call him... Darkzilla. He's been sleeping, waiting for this moment. I believe the emergence of this Muko has awakened him. The tremors were him. A mother and daughter reported seeing a giant beagle coming out of the mountain this morning. Massive footprints were seen coming in this direction. He's alive. He's hungry. He's angry. And he's heading here. Now. My boys on my unit, they'll take care of this overgrown feline. Jim and I, we're gonna monitor and track this dogzilla. And we'll handle this overgrown puppy dog. Hey, where are you going? He's coming. I have to see this. Come on, you can ride with us. Alright, let's roll.
candy party. I'm sorry, we're gonna get there as soon as we can. Jump it, show me, bitch. Mommy, mommy, look at that ginormous doll over there. <laughs> Hello, thank you for calling 111. We're your 911 alternative. We're having an amazing day. What's your problem? Your husband's having chest pains. Well, tell him to take a chill pill and a nap. Yeah, he'll feel better in a couple of hours. And as a bonus for being our 10th caller, you've won a lifetime supply of Buns and Runs, the world's number one laxative. Yeah, okay, well, that language is totally unnecessary. H have a joyous day. Thank you for calling 111, your 911 alternative. We're having a super duper day. What's your deal? I'm sorry, did you say a giant cat ate your neighbor? Okay, I'm going to need you to hang up and call a rehab center pronto. And remember, just say no to drugs. Thank you for calling 111, your 911 alternative. We're having a splendid day. What's your issue? I'm sorry, did you say there's a 200-foot beagle walking down Main Street? Uh, okay, I think you're calling the wrong number. You meant to call AA. You know, the first step is admitting you have a problem. Bye-bye now, and have a glorious day. Okay, I I'm done with these people. I can't handle it anymore. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm right behind you. You wouldn't believe the calls I'm getting today. Want a bet? There's a 200 foot beagle walking down Main Street. Man, what's the problem? What are we waiting on?
wasn't, son. Fellas, it's cool. No, it wasn't, son. Hey, yes. No, it wasn't. Yes. All right, Professor, I need you to stay over there out of the way. All right, little brother. Let's do this. Made his size a little bit. Oh, yes. I told you. I told you. He's magnificent. He's even bigger than I thought. Sheriff, the roadblock was a disaster. The Muko has changed direction. It's heading toward the Riggs property. Your giant beagle is heading in that same direction. Oh, no. I told you. I told you. My unit's on the way there now. <laughs> 